Hello, we wanted to take this opportunity to update our clients on some of the pretty historic uh, movements in global bond and currency markets. In fact, in the last two months, about $2.7 trillion of value was eliminated from the global bond markets. Uh, this was driven by a pretty rapid uh, increase in interest rates uh, since the end of September through till today. Interest rates have backed up over 75 basis points. Uh, this has led to a rapid depreciation of the yen. And so it was a combination of both the rise in yields and the currency adjustments really rattled global bond markets. A lot of this has been described to the Trump uh, election. However, most of these trends were underway uh, for the month preceding the election. So in the last month, uh, the market wiped out about 1.7 trillion, but it had already wiped out about a trillion in, in the prior month. And what the Trump election did was really just poured a bit of fuel on an already lit fire. We had already seen inflationary trends rising, and certainly Trump's proposals of protectionism and fiscal spending will further fuel that inflation, but that inflation was already in place. Uh, the massive amounts of fiscal spending that are being talked about obviously will be growth positive, but it'll be budget deficit negative, and that's not good for bond markets. Um, there's been some discussion about Trump's view on what the Fed should or shouldn't do. Frankly, as an institution, there's a little bit of an arm's length uh, uh, removal from his ability to directly influence that. But certainly, I think the direction of Fed policy will be forced uh, for for higher, higher interest rates. And then there's the deregulation, uh, cutting of taxes, which should also boost growth. But these, again, they're only fueling the trends of decent growth and higher inflation that were already underway, that were already starting uh, to unravel this, uh, this bond market. Thankfully, this uh, is an environment that the strategies were positioned for. While the bond market had negative returns, uh, this generate strategies generated significant and positive returns uh, outperforming the peers and, and the benchmark. 